if you look up Jesus Christ on TikTok or YouTube, online, wherever, like let's say you're trying to watch a movie about the life of Christ or you're just trying to find videos about him, documentaries to see what his life was like, you most likely have seen these images. There are constant debates among the Christian community surrounding whether or not the Messiah looked like this. And I'm going to end this debate once and for all. Now, the scripture says that our Lord sprang from the tribe of Judah. That's very significant for what I'm about to say next. Historically, this is what the tribe of Judah looked like. These are actual carvings that the Assyrians made when they captured Judah. And you could see in the last image they had afros, and here you can see they had locks. Some more images of Judah once again. In this image, you can, you can clearly see what the Assyrians were trying to do. They tried to hang them, similar to strange fruit. Hmm. Now, this is another historical image that was discovered in Egyptian tombs. You can see, again, the Israelites have afros in this photo. You can also see they have dark skin. These are clearly black people. Another image here, again, clearly black people. And what was very interesting is that I was actually watching a documentary that I reposted on here that explained how when they tested the skulls of African-American slaves in America, it was a direct match to Hebrew slaves in Egypt about who we read about in the book of Exodus. All of that being said, if the Messiah came in the flesh as an Israelite and these historical markings show that the Hebrews are a black group of people, especially scriptures that say I am black, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 30, Song of Solomon chapter 1, Lamentations chapter 4, our skin is darker than a coal. Scriptures that say all of these things, we know that the Messiah himself was a black man. There's no dispute and no argument about that when the, when the history is clear. And for those that try to say, oh no, he was Arabic, when you read Genesis chapter 16, it will tell you the Arabs descend from out of Ishmael. The Israelites descend from Isaac, two separate groups of people. So no, he also was not Arabic. And it's important to know who the real Israelites are because many prophecies concerning the end times is about Israel. For example, many of us have probably heard or read that the Jews returned back to Israel in 1948. However, many prophecies, including Jeremiah chapter 30, says that once Israel returns, they will dwell in safety. And Isaiah chapter 11 says, that Jesus will gather Israel and that there will be peace in Jerusalem and all throughout the world. That wild animals will be able to dwell together in peace and not devour one another. That children will be, be able to play with animals like lions and they won't be afraid at all. Yet we see nothing but war in the Middle East because God's people have not yet been gathered. And that's the reason why many Christians are confused as to why the whole war with Palestine and Israel is taking place. Because we don't understand the vast majority of us or study prophecy, we don't know these things. In fact, when you try to bring this information to many people, the first thing they say is that it doesn't matter. If God said that Israel is a special people unto himself, why would it not matter if he says Israel is his chosen people? Why is that not important to know? So many prophecies in the Bible pertain to his people. Yet the Christian church tries to disregard everything written about Israel. When the truth comes out that the Jews are really black.